What's up, what's up, guys? Your boy Roy back again, back again with another episode of the Preaching to the Birds podcast. We'd like to leave you with the brave latest and breaking Eagles news and just, you know, do what it do in regards to the Eagles and stuff of that nature. So with that being said, let's talk about the Eagles, right? So today, we got a very special program, a very special program, where we talk about the three sleeper players that we as Eagles fans need to pay attention to. Well, there's plenty of people going off right now. Eagles rookie minicap is going swimmingly well. You know, it's, it's about to be summertime, so we got to talk about swimming, you know. But let's talk about the players that we may not be mentioning in that in, in, in the time period right now, right? When rookie minicap is, is going on, because we're just not thinking about it. We're just thinking about the rookies. Cool. But number one player on the list is Terrell Lewis, right? Terrell Lewis formerly out of Alabama, formerly out of the Rams, is my top-rated player to really think about, look up. Uh, he came this year after our season ended. He has a lot of talent, man. He has a lot of talent. The only reason he hasn't done well in the league is because he hasn't been able to stay healthy. But if we can somehow get him to stay healthy with the way we practice, the way we prepare, Trent Lewis can be a stud, man. He can be a stud. He's a former third round pick. Dude is a monster. Out of Alabama, got all the moves, got all the, the length, versatility you could want in a player. Honestly, is somebody we need to be paying attention to as Eagles fans because he may end up helping us replace Hassan Reddit. Outside of, you know, the Nolan Smiths, outside of the Zach Bonds, outside of, you know, those notable players like that that play Edge and Brandy Graham, shit like that. Next player on the list is actually a sleeper person, but you know he's a he's a higher round draft pick. Cooper DeJean. Cooper DeJean here has an opportunity to really, really be great, man. Be great in the sense of if we play him as safety, man. We just play this man as safety with his ball hawking skills, man. We, we with him and CJ Gardner in the back, man, we, we should be able to get up to 15 interceptions this year. If the quarterbacks just, you know, throw it up all lollipop style, baby, we might go crazy. We might go crazy. And the last person on the list is going to surprise you guys. Should it surprise me to say it, man? But if Bradbury stays on this team with CJ Gardner Johnson back with Cooper DeJean playing behind. He might have a resurgent year, y'all. He might have a resurgent year. Now, yes, we all think that Bradbury is probably going to get traded or cut post June. But if he doesn't, look out. But yeah, those are three players on the list. Notably, the one more, there's one more person I want to talk about today. His name is Marlon T. Marlon T might turn up this year. He might do it. I thought it was very notable the Eagles didn't draft any defensive tackles. The reason being is definitely because Marlon T and Mora Ojimo are slated to go out here and do some work for the Eagles. So we'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. And in Jalen Carter, we trust. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I really got for y'all today. Short video. Peace out. Sure, sure.